coming to you today from the apocalyptically quiet Hard Wren. And this is a side of Hard Wren I've not been to before. They have two beaches in Hard Wren. One's called Sunrise, and this one's called Sunset. Now, but a lot of these have been pretty much abandoned by the looks of things. Not abandoned, but they're being um, they're left unoccupied, unattended. I have been here for about five minutes now, and I have not seen a single person, not even a, like a local sat on on the streets. Ah, there's someone. There's someone on a bike. They're driving away. They're leaving us, but. I mean, look, they could have been like that for years, but you, I would imagine that before the coronavirus, they were probably really well painted. It's not been that long, has it? Just goes to show how, how quickly things can fall into rack and ruin if they're not properly maintained. which doesn't appear to be open although this section whatever this is called this is open so I'm not really sure maybe it's all Sunset Beach but there's all the way to the end it's pretty cap Sometimes, you know, you don't want to jump to conclusions. Who's to say that that doesn't open at 6 p.m. every evening and that it would have been closed anyway when I walked past? But I get the impression that these are, they're not open. There's a woman there. I might actually even be open, that laundry place. Maybe she just lives there. Cap. Might get a glass of water for the dog actually. I don't think there's much point in going further. I think you can you can see for yourself, right? Yeah, she didn't have any water. I did notice some other kinds of drinks. I didn't look at what they were, but the fridges were all off and you can't blame them really. It's just a waste of money. I'm probably the first person that went there all day. I was supposed to get up this morning and go to the gym and that's exactly what I did. This is ridiculous. I came here yesterday and asked them if they'd be open and they told me they would. And they're not. So across the way there is the podium gym. I've just been inside for a chat with them. I didn't bother to have a look about, um, but I got the prize. 200 baht for an all day pass. Come and go as many times as you like. It's supposed to be 300 and uh, they've got a special on at the minute. 
So that's sweet. I'm, that's my day sorted tomorrow. I'm going to go in there for at least two hours. So when I got home this morning, I got on the phone and called a couple of people who own gyms. I ended up having a really good chat with someone that owns one. Basically, they said that the police called this morning and all gyms on this island are supposed to close. But all the gyms in Koh Samui are still open. So it kind of backs up what I've been saying for the past few days, I think. Basically, long story short, they said to me, if I came to their gym at a certain time, the door would be unlocked. Basically, you can just book the gym all to yourself, and it's the same price. So for 200 baht, you can go and train for an hour, and uh, all the machines will be available because I'll be the only person there. You can see it's not just those that one area. This is hard rain. So this is your hard rain walking street. So Hadrian, if you don't know, is, I guess, like the Shaweng in Samui or the Patong in Phuket. And it's a place that really thrives, that really requires tourism in order to survive. It's all hotels, hostels. And when you're here traditionally, you're far more likely to see a foreigner when you go out on the street and you want to see a Thai, I would say we heavily outnumber the Thai people during high season, certainly in this little area. Um, so obviously, like Shawang, like Patong, once the tourists went home, all right, all right. <laughs> I've forgotten what I was saying now. I parked just here the other day. Probably should have just done that. So this is your town centre of of Adrian. What a cab. Hello, little fella. At least I know we're coming. Some welcome, huh? <laughs> um, I'm used to it. Um, one of them did almost get to her, but, but I'm, I'm pretty used to handling it now. They never come after me. I normally, when she's on a lead, you're left well alone. So, Mr. K has also been told by the police since today. They can only do takeaway, they've had to move all the tables and chairs. I'm still allowed to sit on the beach, that's it. And uh, just got two bottles of water. Need to give the dog a drink. But um, I've not heard about any of these restrictions in, in Costa Um And I've been, I've been on to people this morning to see, have they heard about anything? And they haven't. So this is bizarre. I'm not sure what's happening on this island. It, it, even like separate businesses seem to have like separate rules like i said about the irish bar that they wouldn't serve drink it could be that the police had told them specifically you're not allowed to serve drink but didn't say it to other people the case numbers in Koh Samui are four or five times higher than they are in Koh Panyang, so i don't understand but so this is a daytime holiday this is very much a daytime holiday now and then Look, I wasn't exactly going to get much partying done with the remainder of the money anyway. We woke up this morning with, what, 2,710 baht. Right now it's time for a bloody good swim. Right beside the I Love Copan Yang sign. And again, in case you haven't seen the channel before, when I was here six months ago I explained all this already. But this is your full moon party. If you've ever heard about Thailand's famous full moon parties, this is exactly where they happen, and literally right here. All the DJs would be lined up, sort of, where's my, my stick? The DJs would all be sort of lined up along there, we'd all be partying here. Hello. Come 
mean, if things ever do bounce back, these are all properties that you'd you'd be very, very happy to rent. I mean, look, I'm sure they're very, very expensive. But before, this street would have been absolutely booming. If you've been to full moon parties, especially if you stayed in Hard Rain, uh, in a hostel or something, which I've never done, I assume looking at this will just be like, make you extremely sad. I really only know Hard Rain either at night or like this, because I never came during the day. Just finished the workout and, oh, I feel so much better. They knew when to expect me. They knew how long I was going to train for and stuff. Went in, everything went very, very smoothly. Hadn't worked out in four or five days. And it's, it's so good for the old mental health. It is for me anyway. I went in there today feeling like Pee Wee Herman. And after about 20 minutes, I felt like Sylvester Stallone. All right, time for a quick shower after the gym. And I need to go and get the dogs some meat and some bananas for my protein shake. Uh, just been to Macro, got some chicken for the dog, 35 fat. Now it's time to see if it's true that restaurants can only serve takeaway because I'm hungry. Yep, it's official. Restaurants are takeaway only. So you've got to roll with the punches when you're making these low budget YouTube videos. Hey, we didn't know what was going to be happening this week. I was going to an Austrian restaurant called, I think it's called Why Not Family Restaurant, but it's takeaway, so I couldn't really show it to you anyway. And it's 300 baht for a schnitzel and mash, which I can get for 100 baht near my home in Lamai. So, for the third time this week. Yeah, it's nice. Very good. But I knew what to expect, I suppose. There was no sign of the lady outside Big C tonight. They gave me their sticky rice last night. I wanted to go throw her a few more pennies. But they are being ruled with an iron fist compared to Koh Samui. And I was just talking to my landlord there. And he was saying how things used to be the other way around. And that it was here you could get away with everything. And Samui was the really bit of lightning there. Um, and Samui was the really strict place. And somehow that's flipped. They must have different chiefs of police or governors or whatever. Big day at the beach tomorrow. I'm off to bed. See ya.